hell? You know that, Jack? I I've been lugging these things up here all day. Well, uh, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, I hurt my back. Oh, Jack. Yeah, oh, yeah. Why didn't you say? Yeah. I mean, I really, I'm sorry. Please yeah. sit down. Yeah. Sit down and, and take it easy, huh? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, yeah. When did it happen? Yeah. 1956. <laughs> <laughs> Rola! Don't think that, what? Help! Help, what's the matter, Grandma? Oh, all right, this all right. is heavy. All right, well, just get on the other end. Okay. Okay, give it a shove, huh? Go ahead. It's like lead. Is it? Yes. I can't understand why this one is so heavy. I think it needs some oil. <laughs> How did you get here? From the Bronx by subway, from the elevator by rack. <laughs> I am here to give you folks some very good news. Oh, you live in town? No, half ton. <laughs> I'm here to give you the opportunity to buy a raffle ticket. Raffle ticket for what? Uh, you know, the place where Grandma Morgenstern lives. The Golden Sunset Retirement Home. They're trying to raise $1,500 for a new carpet. Wait, Ma, didn't they just get new shag carpeting two, a few months ago? Yeah, but it got ruined. The gardener got drunk and mowed it. <laughs> of having a little fundraising dinner on Wednesday night. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, count me in. At your place. My place? <laughs> Why my place, Well, huh? because it's a bigger building and it has more people in it. Consequently, more money. I thought we'd charge $5 a head for dinner. And I can also post some handbills in your lobby. Uh, Ma, this is Monday. Where could you get handbills on such short notice? From my purse. <laughs> <laughs> Get them printed up already? Yeah. All right, who's Doyle? Nice. I am. Is that your rack on the sidewalk with the giant rat costume? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna get a citation if you don't get it upstairs. Hey, officer, this is New York City. Who's gonna notice a giant rat? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> well, you get it now, lady. Come on, you're yeah. blocking pedestrian traffic. Okay. Please, we're gonna get yes. a fine. Yes, all right, you two. All right, I'm going. Well, then go, will you? My horse is double parked. <laughs> Tell me whatever happened to kind, considerate cop on the corner. Somebody beat him up. Come on. <laughs> so, where were we? I was about to tell you what to do with those tickets. Oh, come on, Jack. Be a sport. Take a chance. You can be a big winner. There are 500 prizes. 500? What are they? Well, the first one is a boat. The next 200 are no pest strips. <laughs> <laughs> I can use a no pest strip to hang over your head. Oh. <laughs> it's the rest of them. Well, after the no pest strips, the prizes get pretty stinko. <laughs> Ramon, my friend, how about a ticket for you, huh? How much do they cost? Well, they're a quarter apiece, but for you, four for a dollar. Oh, <laughs> man. You got yourself a deer. Good luck. Thanks. I just hope I don't get stuck with a lousy boat. <laughs> Next. Leave me alone, will you? I'm a busy man. Hey, Rhoda, I want to turn your boss upside down and shake loose some chain. Do you know where I can rent a crane? <laughs> Morgenstern, you better tell your mother to pick on somebody her own size. Oh, wait a minute. The first graders are all in school. <laughs> hey, is everything all right? Mm -mm. What's the matter? Mm. Sweetheart, tell me what's wrong. What? What? What's going on? You killed my horse. <laughs> what? You killed my horse. I'm sorry. You kill a man's horse and you say you're sorry? Morgenstern, what happened down there? Well, now, it was a, I, the, it was a costume rack, you know, Jack, and, and his horse was, you had tied your horse to the rack, and then this kid came on a skateboard, zooming down the street. Those things are dangerous. He bumped into the rack, it moved. The horse got scared, ran out, very nervous animal into the street, and this big bread truck. <laughs> it was awful. I mean, how awful. terrible for you, baby. Oh, my poor baby. Your poor baby? What about my poor baby? <laughs> well, he was my best friend. <laughs> oh, officer, listen, listen, I, I did not do it. You're, you're wrong when you, you, when you say it. I mean, you must understand it was an accident. Oh, my, uh, he's gone. I, Forever. I'm my horse, my buddy, my pal. I'm sorry about your slave. Rhoda, Rhoda, I, Rhoda, I really Rhoda, don't know what to Rhoda, say. Rhoda. 
I know that wherever your horse is now, <laughs> he's happy. <laughs> sure. I mean, I can see him up in horse heaven now, smiling. <laughs> Sweet old, what was his name? Lucky. <laughs> Boy, you sure named him wrong. <laughs> Please excuse the way the apartment looked. It's my daughter's. <laughs> but listen, I'll be back Saturday to announce the winners and clean up. Well, see you then, okay? Okay, Mrs. Morgenstern, I will take a ticket now. Oh. Just a ticket? That's all I need to win. I feel lucky. Oh, wonderful. Perfect. I hear the word lucky. I drop a plate. Rona, Rona, when are you going to get over this accident? I don't know. Days now. You have got to get a grip on yourself. I'm, darling, she's right. What's done is done. No. I mean, it's just going to take a little time to forget it. No. Yeah, well, I'll think to forget. Not every day you kill a horse. <laughs> Benny, I did not kill a horse, yeah, Benny. Yeah, and, yeah, right, I, right. I did not. I mean, what was it there that I could do to uh, stop right, it? Right, sure, sure. Uh, Benny. Benny! Benny! Right. Benny. Look, Rhoda, I know how you feel. When I was a kid, I ran over my Aunt Sarah's pet turtle slowpoke with my bike. Oh. Yeah. She said she would not forgive me till the day she died. Oh. Fortunately, she died a month later. <laughs> It up. Go ahead, laugh, Gary, Benny, both of you. you. Listen, there is nothing funny about death. No, 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 no. Rhoda, come on. Everybody makes jokes about death because they're afraid of it. Grandma Nessel, God rest her soul, she had a saying about it. She used to say, death comes to a man like a dream, but a chicken never sleeps. <laughs> Well, it doesn't make any sense. I... Well, before your grandmother lost her life, she lost her mom. <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah, funny. You two, laugh it up. Everybody, have, I'm glad you're enjoying yourselves. But well, I am upset. I am. I'm, I'm very upset. And it, it's not just about Lucky's <laughs> passing. <laughs> Tony, the policeman. You got him, too? Hey! <laughs> in some way. I mean, even though I didn't do it. I mean, yeah, I mean well, how could I possibly make that up to him? Oh, look, Rhoda, Rhoda, you, you, uh, you could get him a motorcycle. <laughs> They're very difficult to kill. <laughs> but you would be easy. I'm telling you. Okay. I really have had it. Hey, hi. Hello. I'm Werner Hawkins, and I have a cat in my pocket. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not too late. I wanted to make my contribution to raise money for cat petting. Cat petting? That's what it says, cat petting. Oh, let me see that. Oh, no, no, Verna, you see, that's... That's car petting. <laughs> uh, carpeting. Carpeting. <laughs> car... I thought so. But Bill kept saying, No, that's a T, Verna. And you know how convincing Siamese cats can be. <laughs> right. Well, thanks for dropping in and so long. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely evening. <laughs> wait a minute, Verna. Verna, wait a minute. Ma, please, excuse me. Listen, Verna, do you happen to know of a cat that is in need of a, of a good home? But it'd have to be a, a, a very sweet, affectionate, uh, well-mannered cat. I have one. But he doesn't dance. <laughs> Rhoda, Rhoda, what do you want with a cat? Absolution, Brenda. See, Gary, that would be good. Wouldn't I could give uh, Tony a pet. Oh. Give him the cat. See, he needs a friend. Oh, oh, sweet. I suggest you take Randall. Okay, great. That's wonderful. Thank you. For, uh, could I come and get him now? Certainly. Oh, great. This must be fate. Just yesterday, I had his good suit cleaned. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Uh, am I disturbing you? No, 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 no. Come on in. Oh, thank you very much. Um, well, oh, how's the arm? Dislocated shoulder. Um, I cannot 
express to you how sorry I am for this whole thing. Well, I'm, I'm really... sort of sorry myself. I, I guess uh, when Lucky went, I overreacted. But uh, well, I, I want to really. apologize to That's you. That's all know? right. Oh, it's listen, it's OK. Boy, your place is loaded with animals here. Yeah. Oh, I see you have a bird. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Tweety. Hello, Tweety. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this cute little guy here? He's so cute. Oh, oh well, that's that's Lucky. It is. Yeah, that, that's, his, that's his baby picture. Oh. And uh, <laughs> this is one of the two of us on Broadway. Huh? Oh. We were on the Great White Way for 10 years. That's longer than uh, Hello, Dolly. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, Tony, the purpose of my visit is to um, give you a present. I figured I should give you a little something to make up for the big something. <laughs> um, here it is, a cat. Oh. Would, would you accept oh, it? Oh, that's very sweet of yeah? you. Yeah, oh, good. Oh, gee, I was, was feeling kind of lonely. Oh, hey, hi there, fella. What's his name? Randolph. Oh, what's the matter? Are you hungry? Oh, I'll get him some milk. Oh, oh yeah. Has he eaten today? Uh, search me. All I know is he can't dance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's really enjoying that? <laughs> what are the drapes doing? You didn't... Oh. Bird. No, I did not. The bird flew out the window. Yeah, it just flew out the window. Yes. An unarmed parakeet alone in New York City. <laughs> Let's face it, the bird's a goner. Jack, could you please stop joking around? I am indirectly responsible for right. the death of a man's horse. Right. The escape of his bird. Not to mention a dislocated shoulder. You got a dislocated shoulder? No, Ramon. It's somebody else's shoulder. Oh. Fits you fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I've worked on around here, huh? I mean, for days now, your mind and your head have been passing each other in the hall. Yeah, yeah, Jack, I know it's guilt. I am just filled with guilt here. I, I got to figure out a way to make Tony and me feel better. Now, look, no matter what you do, there are two things that will never appear on this earth again. A big brown one and a little yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> that's life. That's life. Uh, correction. That's death. Jack, <laughs> stop it. Stay back, stay away from me. What are you doing uh, will here? Will you stay back, get away? Yes, certainly. What? I just came to return the cat. You're returning Randolph? Yes. Why? Tweety came back. Oh, Tweety came back. Oh, isn't that wonderful? No, Randolph ate Tweety. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, no, no, yes, no, yes. No, the no. moment I met you, my life has been one big disaster. So you stay away from me and I'll stay away from you. No more talk, no more contact, no that thing, okay? Get it? I got it. Good. Yeah. So I'll just leave the cat over here. Oh. Oh. What happened to your head? Oh, nothing much. When I went to stop Randolph from snacking on Tweety, I tripped over a six-foot plant, cut my head, and got 14 stitches. <laughs> By the way, thanks for the plant. <laughs> No! But I'm getting used to it! Come back! Come back! Stay away from me! Come back! Tony! Rhoda? Yeah. Rhoda? You want some Don't coffee? come near me, Brenda. It's best that I stay here, alone, on this side of the room, by myself, away from people, loved ones I could destroy. Please, I'm a jinx. Rhoda, Rhoda, will you please stop that? It is just not. <laughs> you were saying? 
Yeah. Coincidence. Well, it is just coincidence. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. No, it's Arl Hansen. I'll get it. Yeah. Hi, Benny. Hey, Hi, Hi, everybody. Hi, Emma. Hi, Ma. Hi. Well, the raffle is over. Huh? <laughs> okay. When do I pick up my boat? You don't. Oh, Mrs. Blaylock won it, and she was so excited, she ran right out and bought some orthopedic deck shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a winner here. Rhoda, congratulations. You won yourself a brand new no pest strip. Oh, there you go, Rhoda. Yeah, yeah, I don't need this. Any bugs that come near me are committing suicide. <laughs> I'll get it. I got it, I got it. I got no, it. no, Benny, it's uh, Buzzy here. It's oh, Carlton. Yeah, yeah, Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Yeah. Tell your sister, the horse killer, there's a big wounded man on his way up to see her. Thank you very much, Carlton. And stop calling Rhoda that name. You mean horse killer? Mm, that's right. I didn't make it up. That's who the guy asked for. <laughs> Well, Rhoda, I guess uh, Tony's coming up. But yeah. Did something else happen? Did you do something else to him? I, I mean, uh, for him? I am hoping he is merely here to thank me for the minor bird I sent him. Oh. A minor bird? Why would you send him a minor bird? Because, Ma, they talk, you know? That way, whenever I'm in the vicinity of the poor man, the bird can say, lock the door, lock the door. <laughs> oh, he's here. Yeah. Benny, I'll get it, please. <sighs> <laughs> Hello, Rhoda. Hello, Tony. Uh, won't you please come in? Yes, come in and take a load off your foot. I just came to return this killer bird you sent me. <laughs> oh, Tony, what happened now? Oh, uh, usual. First he went for my hands, and then, uh... He went for your nose. Yeah, you know, I think he was aiming for my eyes, but he missed. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, Rhoda, I'll, I'll go now. And, uh, would you do me a favor? Anything. Anything. Don't call me or think of me again. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Hey, Tony. Tony, please wait. I can't let you go like this. Like what? Conscious? <laughs> no, Tony, I mean, I, I cannot let you leave here feeling the way you feel about me. I just can't. Will you let me go, will you? No, I... Rhoda, let the man go. No, Ma. Now, listen, it's really important to me that we get this straight between us and we have an understanding. Listen, just give me two minutes, will you please, Tony? Just sit down for two minutes only. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, back, back. <laughs> two minutes. All right. Tony, can't we be friends? Can't we be two human beings that have mutual respect, one for the other? Can't we be two people with no animosity? Can't we be two folks that have not much hatred? <laughs> they hate me that much, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How much? Do you know Sky? <laughs> that much? More. No, 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 give it up. When you get more hatred than... Sky, it's time to let go. Thank you very much. No, wait, 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 wait. How about this, Tony? Listen, would you hate me less if you pay me back somehow? You know, like punch me, kick me, bit my nose, uh, pull my hair, give me a noogie on the arm? Yeah. Okay, take your pick. You'll have to go over me. Uh, <laughs> now, that wouldn't be very difficult. All right, Carl, you want to call it? If I have to, I'll call the police. Benny. He is the police. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See? They say they're never around when you need them. Benny, listen, everybody, now just come on. Now, this is between Tony and me, all right? All right just all right, all right. stay out. Mom, would you please step aside? Tony, take your best shot. Look, thanks. I, Please. I, I, I'd like to, I but I, I could to. never hurt yeah. a woman. See, now, I, I could uh, if she tied my legs to a truck or something. You did? That's good. Oh, you thank you, Benny. Go. No, 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 you can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm so you good for I can't believe it. Doesn't it hurt? Compared to what? <laughs> Look, doesn't it show you something? I mean, we're like oil and water. We're like cats and dogs. Everything in life has a natural enemy. You happen to be mine. I didn't pick you. God knows I didn't ask for you. You were just there waiting for me, waiting to maim me. Oh, no, 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 I don't believe that's true. Now, listen, I think we're victims of, of, of a series of, of, of incredibly coincidental accidents. Rhoda, really, Tony, Rhoda, what Tony, top what? Get, please. Can I just talk to you for a minute, please? Sure, Ma. Now, listen, give it up. So if you don't open that door, he's going to go through it anyway. <laughs> you got to make him understand. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Your grandma, Nestle, used to have a saying for a situation like this. She would say, when the running goat hits the side of the well, the czar and the Cossack will sing in the field. <laughs> Ma, that makes absolutely no sense. I know, I'm just trying to get your mind off this craziness. <laughs> Take her, Brenda. Take yeah, her, Mom. please. Now, Tony, no. listen to no, me. Now, you listen. You are no. not... Brother, listen to me very carefully now. I don't want to be involved with you for another second. I mean, so if you got any sense, get out of my way and let me leave. Rhoda, Rhoda, will you let the man go, please? Right, Brent. Yeah, this is... Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I've tried, but... You know, but I think you got something there. I, uh, I gotta do a little something to even this up a little bit. Yes! Yes! Great! Yeah, yes! Yeah, well, what I do just, you want to do? Well, I just want to do something to make, to make you remember me by. Great. <laughs> well, that's very nice, but strange. Yeah. Not, not a guy. This. Oh, now, wait, hey, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. Stand back. <laughs> Goodbye, Rhoda. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. I feel so much better. Uh, oh, Tony, you forgot your hat. Uh, uh, stay back. Just toss it out to me. Oh, sure. Oh, my eye. <laughs>